Do you have an update on, on uh, Dawson and, and Brady? Not yet, just because we haven't practiced yet. Um, so, you know, I think I'll know in about 45 minutes. Uh, the good thing is, you know, today, uh, normally we have a two-day prep. So this is a little bit different with a three-day. So today, you know, I'm not as worried if they can or can't go. Um, it's more just how they feel. I know they got some treatment in again this morning, and, and we'll figure out how they responded to that. So no more by the weekend. Um, as far as that's concerned, like how do you go about the exhibition, watching the film and all that, knowing that maybe the lineup, especially the starters, could change drastically, you know, with different yeah. guys you're seeing in there? No, it could. I think um, – you know, the whole, for me, point of the exhibition was to get guys minutes. Um, and if you look at it, we, we did a pretty good job of getting everybody at least 20 minutes. So that there's something on film that they can see, but then more importantly, there's experiences that they can go through where it's live. And again, you know, the first time in front of fans is way different than a close scrimmage or it's way different than an inter-squad scrimmage. It's like you, you feel that whole environment. So to like to get them to experience that, um, and then again on film, it's just worrying about, all right, there's like a couple point of emphasis that we tried to have for that game that we've worked on for a month. It's like, how did we do in those categories? And then I'm going to judge guys off that. And then, and obviously effort. Ben, I know it's probably selfish kind of thing, but to get this done starting on Monday, uh, just excitement wise, or is it, does it step up a notch when it's actually for real uh, mm -hmm. on Monday? No, I, I definitely think it does. Um, you know, because now, like I said, the, the, the wins and losses count. They matter. Everybody's going to be that much more amped up. Um, you've put in a lot of work, and these guys have put in a lot of work, and now they get to finally compete, and you're competing against other people on a regular basis. It's always hard in October when, you know, you're, you're competing against each other or you maybe have a scrimmage here, and then you go back to two weeks of practice and to finally now be able to compete on a consistent basis against other people, I know gets all our guys uh, fired up. Anyone surprise you in the scrimmage? I mean, that, that maybe uh, played better than, than you thought or you think stood out to you uh, from that, that scrimmage you missed? Um, I think every guy had a moment where where they, they did stuff that was like, okay, we've, we've worked on that. Or like, you know, you see the young guys who maybe didn't, do something right a week ago that they're slowly starting to like figure out, all right, that's the right rotation or that, you know, he was there maybe a second late, but at least he's there now. Um, I thought all our guys had a moment of that. I thought, you know, Will did a really good job of taking a jump from he's a guy that, you know, I, I always knew and had trust in, but he's taken another jump. Um, and, and again, with, with JMO out, and, and obviously uh, Parker and Isaiah, he, you know, I don't know what his role is going to be, but I'm pretty confident in knowing that, you know, his versatility will help us at some point this year. So it was really good to see a guy that has been through it take that step, you know, kind of like Trayton. I thought Trayton had some moments where he took a step from last year. Um, and so that was, that was encouraging. Right. No, I, I I think at the college level, that's the biggest difference than in high school is that um, you got to produce. And it doesn't matter if you're a starter, if you come off the bench, if you're a closer, you've got to produce in your role and in your minutes. And, and when you play at a high level, that's, you know, kind of what it is. And our guys know that. And I think there'll be times this year when, you know, we could start – Various line was based off of defense, you know, or um, hopefully not anymore, but, you know, it could be a sickness or an injury or what have you. So all of our guys have to be ready. We talk about that, that every role matters, every person matters. Um, and I think now the freshmen, when you're young, you just want to get out there. And I don't care if it's for two minutes or if it's for 15 minutes. You know, you want to get out there and get your feet wet. So you got to savor every single second that you have and not necessarily worry about that, but worried about when I'm out there and my impact in winning. What do you see from Western Michigan maybe a little organic? Yeah. Um, you know, I've known DJ 
the head coach there for a long time. Um, so it's going to be a lot of Michigan State. Um, you know, they're they're going to play fast. They're going to push it on makes and misses. So transition defense is going to be huge. Obviously, rebounding the basketball, physicality, that's going to be big. They're going to play extremely hard. They're going to be disciplined on offense and run their stuff. And so it's really good for us because that stuff we're going to see in our schedule early. You know, tough half-court man-to-man defense where they're going to pressure you, be physical on the ball, off the ball, bump cutters. It's kind of a it's a mini Big Ten type mentality game, which is good. Again, our young guys, they got to get that early. It would do us no favors, you know, if we're playing teams or we're just, you know, out there able to do whatever we want. Um, I, I want us to be challenged, you know, from that physical standpoint. Because I think that's the biggest adjustment when you make it to, to this level from high school is like just the physicality of, okay, how do I survive that on both sides of the ball? So I'm looking forward to that challenge. And again, just their pace and, and getting our guys used to like, you have to sprint back every single time. You have to build your defense um, because that's going to come up here early. No, it's huge, um, you know, and, and even even in like the exhibition, for example, there were times in a timeout where I drew up a play we have never ran because those guys need to get used to, all right, here's a drop, a play we don't know. Can I take it from the board to the court, right? And, and so that was big for me. It's like, all right, how many times in a game can I go to a drop that I want to be able to do this year and see if these guys can, can take it from A to B? Um, and so all those kind of uncomfortable situations is, is what we need to be in a lot and get just get reps. you got to get reps. And, um, you know, I think the scouting report is another piece to that where the, the deeper we get in the year, you have more information and you're not guessing as much. And so that information that we do have, you got to know it and you got to know it in and out. So uh, this will be the first challenge of, OK, you know, you got to take names and numbers and stats and there's guys here that this is what they did last year. Here's their, you know, personnel. It was what they do, pluses and minuses. Um, and, and that goes into guys that can you can trust on the court and guys that you can play. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, I did it in an exhibition game. Um, because, again, it's like, A, you got to gotta know who's paying attention to timeout, right? Um, so there's the hat, as crazy as it sounds. Uh, but, B, it's like it's one thing to, to stare at a board, but then can you take it from the board to the court? And you have to get reps at that, especially those freshmen. Like they've, you know, something they haven't done, you, there's an expectation of like, okay, you have to now 30 seconds later on the other end of the floor be able to run that. And so, again, I did that at least three or four times because I wanted those reps of, of, of understanding and, and having to do it in split second, you know. Um, and, and I'll continue to do stuff like that, not only in practice and situational stuff, but in these games where there's going to be drops. And, and again, I think it, it increases their focus and it, it just makes them understand that, like, that will carry over and that mentality will came over to stuff that they should already know just with execution because, uh, you know, as deeper as we get that execution piece, if you want to win games, you know, especially us, we're going to be in some tight games. You got to you got to execute down the stretch. Yeah. No, I think it is for sure. And I think you saw with, with a couple shots that some of the guys took. I mean, it's different when you're shooting and there's people watching. You know, I don't care if it's whatever, 2,000 or 15,000. That is a different feeling when the lights are on, there's cameras, there's people. Again, a good miss, people are cheering. If you have a bad miss, there's groans. Like that, you got to get used to that. Um, and and kind of having that that spotlight, and again for young guys that it just you have to get comfortable in that space, and it, it takes time. It takes those reps. So um, I I was glad that they have fans there because that's real. You know, a little bit of you're gonna get that, and I think it's once you once you're a couple games under your belt, you, players you're able to block that out. But I do think that first time, you know, the, the palms are a little bit sweaty, and you know the, the first couple times up and down the court. Your legs get a little tight. 
because uh, it's just the nerves. And so um, it's good to, again, every every game we try to take that as a step to improve in, in everything, not just kind of the X's and O's. Um, with Josh, you know, he didn't play much at Arizona Prep as much as a lot of the guys that your high school coach. Are you surprised that he comes in and he's like, you know, it's like he did get a lot of reps mm-hmm. last year and he's confident in himself. He can take you, you know, at least in some of the games you've had him in depth coaching. You know, what do you think helped him be able to come out there and, and compete? I think, you know, I've known Josh for a couple of years. Just, just the fact that he is a competitor, I think, um, you know, his mentality, and he's a guy that doesn't want to be the weak link, right? And he's got that mindset, and it could be, and everything he does, um, you know, academically, he's doing a big time job and it, it, it transfers like that's just that's who he is. He's got a lot of pride in himself. And that's why I think he's going to be a really good player because he's he's got survival mode. And, and because he thinks like that and he operates like that and we challenge him to be like that every day that I think um, that iron sharpens iron, that cream will rise to the top and. Um, it doesn't surprise me how he's played. Um, he's athletic enough and talented enough where within reps, he's going to figure stuff out. And so now the challenge for all the young guys is, you know, how can I find ways to get them meaningful minutes, especially early? This isn't like last year where, um, you know, you've got a core older group that you got to roll with. This is one where it's like I view this team as we can be a lot better in January, February. But in order to do that, these young guys got to get minutes here and there, and it's finding ways to be creative. Like, how can you steal a Josh Ola Joseph a couple minutes? How can you steal, you know, uh, a Pharrell Payne, you know, minutes early? You know, Trayton Thompson as well. You know, a guy that that hasn't played a ton. You know, I think that last game was the most he played, minus what Rutgers. You know, and, and so it's like finding ways to get these guys because I, I can't emphasize enough is all that is is learning experience and and the, you know to get it on the fly is best case scenario for me.